so I've recently wanted to create my own texture pack for Terraria 1.4. There's just one problem. I've got a Mac. Every tutorial I've seen on the subject was done on Windows. It seemed at first that it wasn't going to work. But after several frustrating hours of scouring forums, I figured it out. Real quick, as an added bonus, at the end of this video we're going to switch out the power menu button for Bob Ross's head. Alright, so the first thing you'll need to do is go to Terraria's homepage and click on the Texture Packs button. Now simply navigate to the Open Folder button down at the bottom of the Texture Packs. If you click on it, it'll open a new Finder window. Here we're going to go make a new folder, and this is going to be the name of our resource pack that we're making. In my case, I'm going to call it Tutorial Pack. Alright, inside this folder we're going to create another folder and we're going to call it Content. One other thing we'll need for Terraria to recognize this resource pack is a .json file. I've included the download link for this file in the description below. Now simply drag and drop it into your folder. Double click to open with text edit. Inside this file is where you'll specify the details of your resource pack. The first parameter is name, and this has to match the folder that we created earlier. In our case, tutorial pack. The second parameter is the author's name, which I'm going to put as me. And the third parameter is the description, which I'll leave as is. The last parameter is the version. However, you shouldn't need to make any changes to this one. Now just save the document and close out of it. Alright, let's open up Terraria and see if that worked. Hit back, then texture packs, and there we go. You've created your very own texture pack. Now let's just enable it and... Wait a minute. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah! We don't have anything in it yet. Let's go and replace a sprite so a texture pack will do something. The content folder is where all of our file replacements will go. But how do I know what files should go in here? To figure this out, we'll have to open up a new finder window and navigate to the game files. Hit go, then home. Now select library. Application support. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Terraria. Now right click Terraria and hit Show Package Contents. Click on Contents, Mac OS, and then Content. And you'll notice that this content lines up with our other content folder. Every folder that's in this one will have an identical slot in our folder. However, the only folder we're worried about right now is Images. So let's make a new folder and copy the name. Inside of these folders will be all the images that are used in the game. The specific image I'm looking for is item underscore 98. This is the item ID for the mini shark. You can find all the item IDs by going to Terraria Wiki, typing in the item you want, and then looking in this box for the item ID. I've found the XNB file, but unfortunately I'm not able to simply copy this over. Instead, the resource pack requires PNG, JPEG, and other image files. In order to extract these images, you'll need an XMB converter. This can be downloaded off my Google Drive by a link in the description. Once downloaded, open up the folder. In it, you'll find a multitude of things. But the only ones you need to worry about are the packed and unpacked folders and the unpack command. Now we're going to take our item 98 XMB, copy it, and paste it into our packed folder. Now we need to run our unpack command, which is easier said than done. First right click and select open with. You won't be able to see this option, so click other. Now change Enabled to All Applications. Scroll down till you see Utility. Open it. Then select the terminal. Now hit Always Open With. Your computer should give you an error because it says it's from an unidentified developer. To get past this, simply open your System Preferences. Select Security and Privacy. And click Open Anyway. Now you're running unpack in a new terminal window. Just wait for it to do its thing. And there you go. The only thing out of this information that matters is this. Success. 
You'll also notice that we have zero failed. When the process is complete, open up the unpacked folder. There you go. You'll notice that we also have this .json file. This is only necessary if we wanted to repack the files together, but because of Terraria's 1.4 update, we'll only need the PNG file. You can now just drag and drop the image into your texture packs image folder. However, in order for this to work correctly, you need to have two things. Firstly, you need to make sure that it is located in the right place. In this case, it should be in your images folder. And secondly, it needs to be named correctly. Seeing as we extracted this straight from the XNB, it already has the correct name. I did a resprite of this image, which I'm going to replace it with. As always, a link to this resprite is in the description. And that's it! Now we can go back into the game and see if it worked. You'll have to disable and re-enable your texture pack in order to get it to reload. Alright, so the texture pack is enabled. I'm gonna go grab the mini shark. Let's see, weapons. Oh, there it is! It has our nice Tommy gun Wii sprite. <laughs> Very cool! If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing. But before we end the video, as promised, we're going to add in Bob Ross. Open up your images folder in your resource pack, add a new folder, call it UI. Then create another folder inside of that one, call it Creative. Open up that last one and paste the images which I've linked in the description. Now reopen Terraria, disable and re-enable your texture pack, load back in the game, and... Alright, that's the end of the video. Bye!